It's Let's Make a Date at CC Slaughter's in Portland, Oregon, where you never lose your boyfriend, you just lose your turn. And now welcome, Bo. Thank you, dickhead. Welcome to Let's Make a Date, the game show where matchmaking can happen even if we don't want it to. Before we get going, I'd like to say that our announcer's name is Richard, so I wasn't just being a jerk. Uh, this time. Now it's time to meet our eligible ladies. And here they are. Welcome, ladies. Let me tell you a little bit about these guys. Uh, ladies. <laughs> Bachelorette number one hails from the Deep South, and that's just how she likes it. Deep. Say hello to Trash of Fire. Thank you. <laughs> I do. Bachelorette number two flew all the way from Gay Paris, where the hair grows everywhere. Please welcome Menage Trios. Toi. And finally, oh dear God, we have a lady who hails from Hoboken. She's a granny with a whole lot of fanny. Please welcome Granny B. Excuse me, I'm a uh, Bo. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Uh, I thought I was in the line for the salt and straw. No, you're on a dating game show. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and those are our three uh, eligible ladies. Now let's meet our eligible bachelor. This little guy will always be on hand. His last relationship was a doozy, but he decided to cut those strings real fast. He likes frolicking, stuffing turkeys, and felting. Please say hello to Stanley. The fuck is that? No, no, seriously, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Welcome, Stanley. Now, you'll be able to ask these young ladies... You'll be able to ask these ladies some questions in just a little bit. But before you do, let's say hello to our contestants. Bachelorette number one, say hello to Trasha. <laughs> Daddy used to tell me, pull that cat out of his pants. I'm like, just like what Grandpa used to have me do with you. <laughs> I do. Isn't that wonderful? Now let's hear from Bachelorette number two. Say hello to Manon. Hello, hello, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm very excited. Isn't that something? And now we're ready for Bachelorette number three. Here she is, Granny B. Is that a fucking puppy? Interesting. And now it's time for Stanley to ask his questions. Go ahead, Stanley. Okay, uh, bachelorette number one, if I popped my stitches, what would you do? Hmm? <laughs> well, back when I was growing up, <laughs> my dad used to tell me, if I get that baby goat out, I gotta reach all the way up in the hoo-ha, just with yanka yanka. So I just gonna pull her back and do flip it around and stick it all the way in. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, that's got me all hot and bothered now. <laughs> you understood all that gobbledygook? <laughs> Bachelorette number three. What would be your ideal sexual hookup? <laughs> sexual hookup? Uh, I guess it would be one where uh, I, I could read a book during and not be bothered after. Uh, you, you just leave the money on the table. Wow. Bachelorette number two, if I were on a date, what act? 
activity would you plan for us to do? Mm, an activity for us to do. Oh, you know what we could do? We could braid my armpit hair together. I just think we could put a little, uh, oh, some little pussy barrettes all up in the hair. Oh, I love it so much. It'd be so wonderful. Meow, meow. Ooh, sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, bachelorette number three. If you could choose one cheese to pair with a pinot, what would it be? Cheese, I'm lactose intolerant, so unless you want me pooping all over the place, uh, let's just stick to the wine, okay? Yeah, unless you're into that, and then uh, that'll cost you more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all tingly in my nubby regions. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> All righty, Stanley. These will be the last three questions before you choose. You have only one question for each of these ladies. Ask away. I'll just go down the line. Bachelorette number one, do you think you could ever fall in love with a puppet? I fell in my cousin and my grandpa, and I did fall in love with my aunt once. <laughs> you know, hell yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, oh, bachelorette number two, same question. Well, but of course I could. I, you know, I love a man who can really open up wide with a big mouth and take my entire baguette. Oh, I think you can guess where I'm going with this, Bachelorette number three. Uh, do you think you could ever fall in love with a puppet? Are you serious? Are you, are you fucking kidding me? You know, I'd smash a lot of things, but uh, smashing an inanimate object is just not my thing. I mean, I've been attracted to a lot of things in my life, but I am not an objectum sexual, all right? You know, even when I was high on acid in the 60s, I wasn't that desperate. Uh, at least that crazy lady who married the Eiffel Tower, at least that was hard and erect. What you, you dragged me on here and you have to ask me that question? Well, Stanley, it looks like you have a real hard decision to make. <laughs> have you decided who your match made in heaven is? I do, Bo, I do. <laughs> I choose Bachelorette number three. Yeah! What the hell? Ooh, somebody grab her and bring her to Oh, me. no, 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 you better don't. You better don't. No, 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 no. no. No, you can no, no, get no, your no, froggy no, head off. No, 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 no,